Hello everybody, this is Prithpal Bogil. I'm a principal architect with the Apigee pre-sales team. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, leveraging the response cache policy and how that can make your APIs more performant. Let's take a look. As you can see, I'm logged in here into the Apigee Edge uh, UI and I am looking at an API proxy. This is a very simple API proxy called Accounts. And uh, quite simply, all it does is it routes this to a simple backend, uh, which is nothing but a existing REST API. If I was to go and hover over to this API here, you can see it gets a bunch of account data. So just simple account data out here. So let's go into the proxy, and the goal is to try and make the API a little bit more performant. So I click on the Develop tab, and you can see different flows where I can add different kinds of policies. In this example, I'm going to add a response cache policy. As you can see, there are other kinds of cache policy as well, such as more, if you need more explicit control on caching, uh, you can use a lookup, populate, and invalidate cache policies to accomplish that. Response cache policy is more of an automated policy, which is uh, perfectly suitable for caching data coming back from uh, backend uh, targets. So let's go ahead and add this policy here. We'll also click on this and review some of the uh, elements out here. You can see the key fragment is a request URI, which means any URI that I enter to query the API proxy will be used as the API, uh, will be used as the cache key. But again, you have the ability to modify this as you see fit. Another element of interest out here, the timeout in seconds. Let's go and change that to 10 seconds. I'm going to save this API proxy and I'll go to the trace tool so we can see it in action. I'll click on trace, start trace session. Let's go over to Postman and you can see I'm trying to query the API proxy out here and this specific resource. So let's hit send. The very first time I hit it, you can see that it goes, uh, it does not find anything in the cache, goes all the way to the backend, comes back, and then will write the data back through the cache. So let's go out there, hit it a couple more times, and you can see that the request comes back a lot sooner. And the reason for that is, it's actually now able to serve data from the cache, so it doesn't have to go all the way back to the backend. In this case, it looks up the data in the cache, is able to find it, and can serve the data right up from the cache. Remember, we had set up a expiration time of about uh, roughly 10 seconds. So if I was to go query it right now, it will the cache would have expired and is going to go refetch the data back from the backend. So you can see it took about 51 milliseconds. If I was to query it a few more times right now, you can see the same exact uh, performance. The other thing to note out here is uh, the request URI is the entire cache key. So if I was to go and fetch data for another record, it will actually go and then refed that from the cache. So let's go and take a look. So I'll just go and run the same account a few times to see that the data is coming back from the cache. Okay, I should show that here in just a few seconds. You can see the, the rate has dropped down here. Now let's go and change the actual resource with a new one, hit send, and you can see that it's going to take a little bit longer in the very first time to get the data, and then after that, it's going to be super fast. Okay, all right. So let's recap here. So there are some really good benefits that you can derive from using the response cache. The first is you're able to increase the API performance, reduce the latency. That means you're able to process more number of requests per second. Uh, you're also able to reduce the number of requests to the backend server. In some cases, there's a cost element to hitting uh, a mainframe or some other resource where you're getting the data from. So you're really able to control cost and reduce the amount of traffic uh, that hits your backend. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this segment. Uh, stay tuned to the YouTube Apigee channel for more video segments like these.